it is something that we actually love doing uh, to make our people very proud and make it uh, seem that look, it is possible to do whatever for us to be a great nation. Uh, Nigeria has what it takes to be on top of the world, and I think government cannot do it alone. We will partner with the government to make sure that, yes, we achieve this target of $1 trillion economy. It is possible, and uh, we will support the government to make sure that we get to the promised land. So, but thank you very much, uh, members of the media, and I think uh, we'll also keep informing you as to where we are. But I pray that within the next few days, you won't see any petroleum queues. As soon as we finalize with the NMPC, uh, you know, we are ready. We are waiting f for them, and I hope they will be ready like yesterday. So thank you very much indeed. No, well, uh, on the pricing, I can't say anything because we don't uh, control the pricing. The pricing at the moment is controlled by NMPC, not Dangote. Uh, so we will wait for them, you know, to do that. But our own for now is to make sure that products are available and also round tripping is stopped where people are just taking uh, <coughs> taking dollars out, not bringing products. All, most of the shenanigans will stop. That is what I can guarantee you. So we await the NMPC's uh, sort of uh, agreement? Yeah, they are the ones that will, uh, you know, sell to the market and also distribute under the current arrangement for Nera Nera. So we don't have an indication as to when that I think, like what I said, we are ready on our part. We are waiting for NMPC to be ready on their part. Once they are ready, we we'll roll. Uh, we are ready to roll, even start, uh, you know, loading a ship uh, this week. Like what I said earlier, within 48 hours, we are ready. That's right, yes. Thank you. Sir, so the controversy that so, uh, surrounded the, the supply of uh, raw crude to the refinery, that one, has it been settled permanently that your company is satisfied that there won't be any disruption in the flow of the raw liquid to the refinery? I think uh, the president has actually, uh, you know, gave a matching order and uh, we must really thank him for that leadership uh, of just, you know, saying, okay, fine, let us you know, and uh, it was taken to the uh, Federal Executive Council, it was approved there. So I believe uh, nobody will dare stop it from uh, happening. And if they do that, you know, the president is also doesn't play. He's a very tough person. He, he will deal with anybody rather lessly. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So thank you very much, and thank you for all your support. You. Stations, you go and see yellow diesel. I'm sure you, are, you have never ever seen this. This is uh, Euro 5 diesel. This is how diesel is supposed to look like. So that when you put it in your generators and coal, you will not be servicing that generator every week. This is the real product, and I think we Nigerians we must celebrate right now that uh, the environment will be cleaner. Most of people having health issues, people having uh, you know issues with their own generators, people having, especially we in the industry, people who are having uh, problems with their vehicles, this will now stop. You will now have the real product. Uh, so thank you all and uh, you know, uh, we just started now, so we hope we'll do other things to make Nigerians proud. Thank you very much. Okay.